Okay, so right around the corner, and then boom, here you are at the Blue Rock. So, real easy walk from the Wild Orchid, and here we go, we're gonna check into the Blue Rock. Hey, good morning, my friend, how are you? I'm good, sir. All right, okay, so here's room 3A, it's on the back side. It's a cheaper, the cheaper uh, side because got a little safe there, TV. And pretty nice little shower, hot water. And the view. Okay, this is the view you're looking at right here. Okay, but you know what? The thing about it was, I'm not gonna stay in this room, so why do I want to pay the extra money? Oh, I'd go for a little bit cheaper because I'm going to be out on the beach the whole time. So I'll show you around in a second. All right, so I'll take a walk. Even on the back side, these little back rooms right here. There's one, two, three, four rooms up there. And one, two, three, four rooms here. So the back side, obviously a little cheaper. I stayed in the front rooms before. Yes, you have an ocean view, but I don't stay in the room. So I just saved the money and stayed in the back. And like this little area right here, some local restaurants, some shops. We'll take a walk down there. Okay, so here's looking from reception. Over here to the bar. Why was everywhere a nice little bar going on? pool area and then like like right here is where I stayed last time these little front rooms so the front rooms are facing the beach okay so here's looking around the restaurant area they do have a uh, draft they got San Miguel and San Miguel light on draft and take a look at the view from the restaurant it's beautiful now right here they at half the year have a uh, floating bar but they, they close the floating bar in July and then they bring it back in November so the floating bar is just right offshore when it's here and they've got a little boat that'll take you out there like a little uh, little boat and the guy pulls a rope along and takes you out there and then this little island right here, I can't remember what they call it. I'm going to have to ask the waitress, but you can take a boat out there. It's got like a little castle on it, and you can take pictures. And then far to the left, there are some rocks over there, which are good for picture taking. And we're going to walk over there in a little bit and show you. So pretty much it's a beautiful view here. And of course, you got guys walking around selling stuff. You can charter a little boat over here to take you to the island or to take you to other places. So, uh, Blue Rock, pretty cool place. Let me show you around some more in a, in a few. All right, so let's talk uh, the budget. So, take a look at the drink menu. And you're looking at, uh, you know, what we got? Like an average price on the shots. A little bit more expensive because we're right on the beach. But, okay, so for a shake, banana shake, 150. But these shakes are delicious. So 150 right now, that's three bucks, three dollars. And there we go. So the prices actually are pretty reasonable. You know, 50 for an instant coffee, 55 looking at a dollar for coffee but let's get to the important thing here only thing i really care about is the beer so there's the beer prices right there i mean we're right on the beach and you're still looking at uh you know pretty pretty reasonable beer prices and the imported obviously a little bit more but they do have budweiser then you got corona so and then just take a quick gander at the menu here. And this is like really complicated, but I just give you a, just a quick uh, clubhouse sandwich, $2.95. Comes with fries, 
It's actually a pretty good price. A lot of places in Angeles City, you may not get a burger for that. It's not going to come with fries. So, you know, pretty, pretty vast menu. And nice size draft beer right there. Okay, so how much is a full mellow? 100. 100? Okay, so, so this is 100 right here for the full mellow? Yeah. How much for the mangoes? The three for 100. Okay, so the mangoes are three for 100. Yeah. And then what's this? This is juice. Just the juice? Mm. How much is that? The same price. Same price? Mm. Okay. But I just take one of the pomelos for for one hundred. Yeah. That's the Filipino price. Yeah. What that's about bola the bola price? That's not bola bola. Mm -hmm. What about the cano discount? Mm -hmm. I give you discount that one. Discount for the cano. Mm -hmm. Okay, some. so we're gonna get one of these pomelo yeah. for one hundred pesos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Blue Rock Resort is a pretty cool place, right? I mean, check it out. You got beautiful scenery over here with some, uh, you know, like a little mountains in the background. It's like in this little cove. So, you know, you can eat right here beachside. There's another little bar right here. I'm going to go check that out in a minute, but they got some music bumping, so I'm going to go over there. And, like, the Blue Rock, most of the time, is like a chill place. It's, uh, you know, like quiet. So pretty cool if you want to bring uh bring your lady bring a filipina hang out but in a few minutes i gotta go find some rowdiness but i think i'm going right next door where that loud ass music is people and then right over here you can rent them boats go to that little island right there right there All right, now listen, I'm going to warn you. If you bring a chick over here to take pictures on these rocks, okay, in the sun, these rocks are hot as hell. And number two, they're like razor blades. So don't come over here drunk because if you fall on these rocks right here, somebody's getting stitches. These rocks ain't no joke. But if you come over here and responsible, you know, it's a good place for taking pictures, I promise you. All the girls like to come over here, take pictures on these rocks. All you fat, older, foreign guys, older guys like me, we got no business climbing on these fucking rocks right here, man. They're just going to cut you up. Last time I cut my thumb, I cut my damn knee open. All right. Young Filipinas, 20-year-olds, yeah, they can get on these rocks and take some nice model-like pictures. Old guys, stay the hell off of these rocks. Okay, people, so like that little sign right there is a good place for uh, photos, you know, with the vegetation coming down over the, the Blue Rock sign, good Facebook. And they're right behind me over here. Uh, these rocks, be careful on these rocks or somebody's going to the hospital. But those rocks are a great place for, uh, you know, have your Filipino layout and our bikini and take pictures on those rocks. They love it. So a couple good spots here for selfies, you know, it's a beautiful little cove right here. And again, admittedly, you know what? The beach isn't 100% white sand beach. This is not like Boracay. The water is not a turquoise green like you see on uh, the advertisements for Subic Bay. Okay, this water is more like Galveston, Texas, all right? This is not the Bahamas, but it's still a cool place to come to. If you're sitting your ass in Angeles City, 
and you're tired of listening to all the music and the tricycles and all that bullshit, you come over here, it's peace and quiet, beautiful view, great food at the, at the restaurant. And there's bars out on the strip, walking distance, no problem. You can walk out to the main road, they got bars over there. But I highly recommend it. Now the Blue Rock itself, the building. All right, look, this building, uh, you know, it's got a few years on it. It's got character to it. So it's not the Hilton, but you know what? If you're in Angeles, I recommend this for at least an overnight trip probably a two-day trip you know if you meet some girls in the Angeles instead of sitting around and getting drunk and paying those high-ass prices okay if you meet a couple chicks just come right here to Subi, Blue Rock and hang out for two days and get the hell out of there easy trip 500 pesos that shuttle goes right there to the, uh, the wild orchid and you walk 50 meters you're right here at the Blue Rock on the beach Okay, so I'm gonna take a walk outside the Blue Rock. There's the Blue Rock. I'm gonna take a walk down the street right here, see what they got. Okay, this is Amanente Z Beachfront Resort. So that's where the music was coming from right there. No thank you, my friend. So that's where the music was coming from next door, that Amanente. Okay, so right next door, we have a little sorry sorry store right here. They got some food. So if you're looking for some local prices. And then we got some more food over here. So you got little little sorry sorry stores within walking distance. Okay, so we got a little beach here. right back here at the Wild Orchid Resort. So just earlier, right through there, like right through there is where the bus came this morning. So that's where the bus stops, the Wild Orchid. All right, so check this out. If you're looking for a couple days or even just one night, away from Angeles City and all the loud tricycles and the bullshit and the bars they come over to Blue Rock okay it's a good uh, it's a good day trip overnight trip I even stay two days I recommend bring two Filipinas with you and stay two days at the Blue Rock tell them Marco sent you that's what I recommend okay it's a chill place if you want some music some action there's bars up and down the strip you can walk to the bar next door got music kicking off but the blue rock is a chill place uh, good food they got a dude over there about to fire some steaks on the grill and uh, the beer is cold prices are reasonable and and I like it you know like I said day trip overnight trip or two days I probably recommend two days with two Filipinas that's what I recommend all right tell them Marco sent you it's not gonna get you a discount, but oh, fuck, they'll be amused. All right, so it's time for me to go get some food, people. Hey, thanks for watching my video, and uh, I think you'll enjoy the Blue Rock too. Okay, folks, this is the Kari Kari seafood. Let me come some rice, but I'm gonna tell you this right here looks absolutely delicious. Comes with this little side right here. But look at this. I got the club sandwich with fries, and you know what? Actually, we I, I made a mistake. I over-ordered. This right here looks delicious. A little side of honey mustard and a rum and coke. But you know what? If you are order the Kari Kari seafood, well, pork or chicken, but this is the seafood. This is a dish for two. I mean, this is a dish for two, maybe three. If you just get a if you get a couple extra rice. I mean, you could turn this dish into a dish for three. So if you come here with two Filipinas, order the Kari Kari Seafood. 
okay get two extra rice so everybody's got their own rice and that's all you need my friends this right here is going to be delicious but i'm telling you i over ordered all right so check this out i didn't know but we have live music from uh what they i think they said from 6 30 to 10 30 something like that so we got these guys setting up right here we got some live music coming all right so i got my friend right here he's on the grill okay it looks like he's making steaks over here what you making my friend you making steaks yeah. all right look so you got all the ingredients right here whatever you want in your steak onions coleslaw hold on lift that back up let's see that again look at that he's got garlic bread let me see let me see one more time here all right so this this guy right here has got a whole station with this is basically a steak and potato station, right? Yeah. What's that right there? Mashed potato. Oh, we got mashed potatoes over here. Cook over here. And that's the options right there. But basically, it's however you want your steak. Right there on the grill, my friend. All right, buddy. Thank you very much, my friend. Just want to see what you had going on over here. All right, so I just want to make a comment on this uh, Kari Kari seafood. Okay, look. I am not a huge fan of uh, mussels and clams and all that stuff. I do love shrimp. But that sauce right there, that sauce, I could take that sauce and put it over a bed of rice and just eat that. It almost has a corn taste to it. I mean, it's, seriously, it almost tastes like a little bit of corn going on. But, uh, yeah, that's delicious. It's a delicious sauce. If you're into seafood, hey, it's great. If you're not a big seafood lover... Uh, you know, the sauce and the rice is still excellent. So, just want to weigh in on that. Now I'm about to try this club sandwich over here. Get a little western for a minute. Alright, so. Just chilling out, listening to this band. Ben said, uh, I think he said he plays from 6.30, 6.30 to 10.30 every night. And you know what? It's not loud in here. This is not a loud place. It's a chill place. So You can still have dinner. Sit, next, sit right next to the bands. It's not too loud at all. But if you want... some action and some rock and roll you have to go next door we're gonna go out to the road it's a chill place people I'm enjoying the hell out of myself the dinner was excellent if you order the Kari Kari it comes in a bowl like this it's good enough for three people don't order anything else order way too much food this shit right here is too much leftovers going to the tricycle drivers out front so like I said you know Blue Rock I'm having a good time and I base hotels on the overall experience I don't base it on you know one thing oh they didn't give me free water or they didn't uh, the check-in wouldn't speak I don't base it on that I base a hotel on the overall experience the entire time I'm there. And I'm telling you right now, I've had a good experience here. And I'm having a good time. About to check out the Blue Rock. Just gotta get a cold beer before we uh, hit on the bus. Head on a bus up to a place called San Antonio. And never been up there, a little beach town, we're gonna check it out. But Overall, I had a great stay at the Blue Rock and highly recommend it for a little overnight trip, especially if you're in Angeles. We're going to get out here in a few minutes and uh, see how much the bus is to take us up to San Antonio.